Welcome to the Caregiver 101 video series. In this video, I want to show you the two uses for a cane, for support and for balance, and the two are a little bit different. Now, there's a lot of videos out there about support. Let's go through that first. First of all, which hand do I want it in? Now, support means I'm supporting an injured leg. Let's say it's my left leg. So I want that cane in the opposite hand over here, so I have a nice wide base of support between the two. If I put it over here, that uh, doesn't feel very stable. This, I can actually put some weight on it. How long do I want it? I want it so that my hands are in that nice power position where the elbow's just got a little bit of a bend to it. Here's the bony part of the hip, right down there, a couple inches below, that's where the cane goes. How does it move? It moves even with the sore leg. And then where should my hand be? Whoa, it's kind of wobbly out here. What if I let it rest right on that hip to be stable? That way, I can walk around. And this just acts like an assistant to this leg. When you get to the stairs, we follow a little bit of a heaven and hell motif. Good guys go up first. That means the strong leg followed by the cane and the sore leg. If I have a handrail, I can use that. When I'm coming back down, bad guys go down. So that means the sore leg and the cane go first. And I can use a handrail if I need to. Thanks. So what if we were to use that cane for balance instead of for support, like support for an injured leg? Well, we might want to make a tripod out of it. Because this isn't a very good tripod, Ooh, we want it out in front. Now it's a little bit short. How long do we want it? We want it one, maybe two inches longer, so that when I put it in front of me, my hand just goes down to it and I don't have to bend over for it. When I'm walking with it, I want it on the ground giving me feedback, telling me where I am in space. That's what I want. So there's a couple ways to walk with it. I could put it out there and step to it, and that's very stable. A little bit faster is to put it out there with the other leg. It's less stable, but it's smoother. Now, the other thing is turning with it. What we see sometimes is people give it the Hail Mary turn, all kick, kicking dogs and doing whatever they do with that stick out there. We don't want to see that. We would like people to use the stick for each part of the turn, because turning is often where people fall. I've got one more bit to show you over here. Whew, man, after shooting all those videos, I sure am tired. Well, maybe I'll just take a rest a while. All right. Ah, oh. whew, go to bed. Now, what I'd like to talk to you about is what happens when I have to get up in the middle of the night to go pee or something like I might need to do, and I get myself up and I go, what happened to my cane? Wait a minute. Maybe I should have, when I came in, had a place to put it that was within reach of the bed. And that way, when I went to bed, it'd be there for me when I'm ready to get up. Hey, that worked a lot better. Thank you for watching. Happy and safe cane use. And we'll see you in the next Caregiving 101 video.